给我瞄准了打。你别看我已经快五十岁了，但是打张伟丽这种二流选手绝对绰绰有余。不出三分钟，我肯定能把张伟丽斩于马下。好的，现在观众朋友们，今天这一场是中美大战呢、啊。现在您看到这位啊，扭着自己还算是慢尿的身姿入场的，就是美国的选手卡拉贝尼特。他呢是双国籍啊，出生于委内瑞拉，但是生长于美国，所以这次也是代表美国出战呀、啊。在赛前也是狂言说张伟丽是二流选手，要将张伟丽斩于马下啊。他呀现在是快五十岁的年纪啊，是美国拳坛的活化石，就是第一批的女子冠军。这么大岁数，看到张伟丽啊夺得各项的世界冠军之后呢，他又是出来想要打废张伟丽。<笑>我只能说呀、啊，他这一回啊，真的就是草人救火来白白送死的。OK， 现在可以看到灯光马上转换成我们中国红出场的这一位就是张伟丽。她是昆仑决首位女子 MMA 的世界冠军，同时也被著名的 MMA 网站列为女子草量级排名世界前十、亚洲排名第一的位置。这个非常傲人的成绩啊，也是成为了很多女子格斗选手的目标。他们都想啊击败张伟丽，都想将张伟丽斩于马下。那今天与她对战的这位美国选手啊，美国服化师也是想将张伟丽斩于马下。那对此呢，张伟丽面对对方赛前特别嚣张的狂言啊，说，说我是二流的没关系，那我打败他，他一个一流选手被我一个二流选手打败，那岂不是更丢人？所以张伟丽这场比赛也是卯足了劲儿啊，让对方啊这个人丢的更大一点啊，丢到全世界。那这场比赛让我们期待张伟丽的精彩表现。比赛开始，粉色上衣是我们中国选手张伟丽，黑色则是美国的选手卡拉贝尼特。在比赛一上来，对方知道我们实力很强，所以他也不敢贸然的前进。而他也非常不要脸啊，说张伟丽是二流选手，那他自己就是一流呗。那可能在他之前啊。他是一位一流的选手，但是他这么多年不打比赛，而且啊，他有着快五十岁的年纪。那面对着我们张伟丽这个非常正直、上升期，而且是巅峰期的一位选手啊，我只能说他这场比赛只能是自求多福。张伟丽啊，肯定会用非常强悍的实力去冻结你。而且这两年也参加了很多的其他的国际型的大赛事，他参加赛事的含金量都很高啊、呃，比如我们前面所说的 b e l l a t o r 这个赛事，呃，赛事非常的高。周伟丽用正蹬去试探对方，配合腿法单脚心。非常的稳定啊！张伟丽虽然说被对方抓住腿，但是他的核心力量非常强，往后稍微撤步啊，就没有被对方带到地面上。张伟丽现在找到机会，对对方连续轰出组合拳，打得非常的强劲啊！我感觉胜利即将到来，继续锤击！哈哈哈，看来这个美国选手啊，就是这么不堪一击。已经明显的吃，明显的不行了，啊，只有招架之功了，啊，哦，还在坚持打枪啊，再说打准，不要让他控制到颈部啊，嗯、要推开，推开，推开，呃，调肘，调肘，肘击，连续第三下肘击，呃，再再继续。啊！又一下，结束了。了了漂亮！张伟丽在第一回合还没有结束啊，一半的时间，直接将对方击倒。张伟丽这场比赛啊，从上来开始之后，虽然说没有发起猛烈的进攻，但是他的时机找得非常的准。呃，找到机会之后呢，对对方啊是连续的轰出了组合拳，把对方给压制在了龙边啊，连续的重拳输出。让我们再看一下现在回放，连续的组合拳去打击对方。那可以看到，美国选手是只能抱住我们的头，因为他也打不出来什么有效的进攻拳了。而且呢，还得去防护一下自己，保护自己。那张伟丽连续的重拳轰出之后，再加上肘击，然后最后的一记重拳，成功将对方击倒。
。OK， 恭喜张伟丽获胜。给我瞄准了打。注意看，擂台上的中国选手在打晕日本选手后，还在疯狂的补拳，生怕自己打得不过瘾。打到现场，手段高明的医生都对他束手无策。那这一场是非常精彩的中日对局，日本选手嚣张的前来踢馆，点名要挑战张美轩。因为张美轩之前连续 KO 了几个日本人啊，所以他们怀恨在心，还声称这一次就是来了结张美轩的性命的。那现在大家看到的选手就是张美轩，可以看到他出场还戴着一个耳机在跳舞。啊，这一次他对于这个小日本子来挑衅也是完全没有当回事啊。好的，现在比赛已经正式开始，那可以看到场上这个伸着狗爪子来回挠的这个选手啊，就是日本的金村武孝奇。那另一边这个打法极其凶悍的红方选手就是咱们的抗日猛将张美轩。还可以看到这个小日本子蹦来蹦去啊，蹦蹦跳跳，像一个跳马猴一样，像一个小丑一样。哦呦，这一下是差一点给自己绊倒了。那以他的这个实力来挑战咱们的张美轩，真的是过于不自量力了呀。那如果是存心想死啊，莫不如在日本就切腹自尽，何必来耽误咱们张美轩的时间呢？那可以看到这个小日本子就是在反复的试探啊，根本就不敢打，啊、非常的怂。But I do know one thing: the Chinese opponent, Shaqmaishu, he definitely has the fans behind him. He has the fanfare. 那可以看到，咱们张美轩根本就不用去出拳，根本不用怎么太动，只需要往前走一步，就能让这个金村武孝吉害怕的不得了。这个压迫感是极强。Yeah, the Chinese fighter is definitely way more patient. China is definitely way more patient, but the Japanese fighter, I think, might just be looking for his opening. Interesting. 小日本子迟迟不敢出手，还在不停的试探。A skin. Yes, dude, it's it's not to protect the other guy's jaw. No, I know that. It's to protect your knuckles. Protect your knuckles. Yeah, it's just when you see. 哦呦，这下小日本子好不容易想要去主动的出击，直接被张美娟一脚踢晕啊！连续又补上了几拳。
快的 KO 掉这个嚣张的小日本子。之前刚刚有前腿动作，这是后腿，呃，日本选手田村纯的这个后手反击啊，啊，很迅速。对。张美现在整个的体型，在他这个级别来说，并不是占很大的优势啊！然后手拳有击中，哦呦，好的，这一拳加上这一脚，再一次很快的击倒了小石本子，而且再一次是连续的去重拳，哦呦，可以看到裁判是把这个张美轩直接拉开了。那这回合依旧是赢得非常非常的轻松。那三个小石本子依次来挑战张美轩，都被张美轩轻松的击败。好的，那现在让我们恭喜张美轩获得了最终的胜利。日本爆红女王来中国偷吃火龙果不承认，被张伟丽一拳打爆头，直接血流当场。好，那么各位亲爱的观众朋友们，大家早上好，中午好，晚上好。这场比赛为您带来的是一场中日对决。没错，如您所见，来自于日本的一位爆红女王。没错，真的是非常的红啊！她在这个日本拳界啊，可以称之为是火辣的拳王啊。这个头发上纹了一个这个。啊，烫了一个前凸型的这个大脚牛头型啊，那么头发也是用着红色。那么这个人呢、啊，他是非常喜欢红色。那这个人啊，来到咱们中国之后啊，发现咱们中国有一个水果叫火龙果，哎，这个这个水果在日本它没有产的啊，所以发现这个火龙果也是非常的好吃啊，在中国偷吃了不少的火龙果。那么这这个举动啊，也是遭到了啊咱们中国选手的啊这个一致抵抗。这个在中国偷东西啊，小偷小摸的素素质啊，这个都说日本人素质高啊，但是在中国却做这种啊下三滥的事情啊，实在是令人所不齿。那么这一次也是张伟丽啊出动，准备将这个日本选手给他绳之以法。那我们可以看到，这个张伟丽也是已经是在赛场上是准备完毕了。可以说，张伟丽这一次也是做出了充足的准备啊，这就打日本人啊。这次我们可以看到，这个日本选手也是，啊，这个吃了火龙果，但是表现是没有一丝愧疚之意啊。这个感觉就是啊，吃这个中国的东西就是非常的啊，像手到擒来一种感觉一样啊，可以说是非常的无耻。那么这一次，我们张伟丽决定不再给他留面子，直接暴打，直接打死。那么各位也可以看到啊，我们的张伟丽选手在这个台上现在已经是准备充足。这个对手也蹦蹦跳跳的啊，准备要跟张伟丽打一场，打赢了啊，这个火龙果随便他吃，打输了这个必须要把他这个揍的啊，连火龙果都给他吐出来。好，那么我们可以看到这场比赛，双方选手左边的右边的这位啊，满身红色的这位正是来自于日本的爆红女王，左边的正是来自于咱们中国的张伟丽。张伟丽是咱们中国的格斗女拳王啊，现在已经基本上是。这个找谁就揍谁啊，可以说是揍遍天下无敌手。那么，特别是这个女性比赛啊，张伟丽简直是处于制霸的一个状态。那这一次，这个日本选手看到张伟丽居然没有害怕，那说明这个日本选手和这个拳击界接触的也不多，居然是没有对我们张伟丽啊，呃，产生反应啊。这个偷吃火龙果之后，那被张伟丽碰到了，那必然是死路一条。你看到这位对手还是非常的藐视我们的张伟丽啊，居然连拳都没有碰啊，简直是一点尊重都没有。那既然这样的话，那必然是给他来一个重拳出击，给他绳之以法。那么这一次就看张伟丽该如何表现，如何惩治一下这个不要脸的日本选手。好的，那么让我们一起来期待一下双方选手的对决，一起来看一下我们张伟丽到底能不能将对手绳之以法。And a great all-around mixed martial artist. Both of these women are extremely talented. Let's see who gains the advantage. Oh, really using her reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, beautiful job by her to raise that knee and ultimately land. So fast and really understanding what type of space she needs to land that knee. Oh, nice job getting the knee right to the midsection there. She's got the size advantage, and certainly put it to good use there. Position. You hit her. Big body kick lands. Oh, the right hand is there for. Asparza going for the head kick here. She misses. Telegraph that shot. 
lands with a right hand. Oh, beautiful combination there from Zhang Wei Li. She is throwing everything with fight ending intentions tonight. I mean, you saw it in her title winning performance against Jessica Andrade. We had seen Andrade put people out over and over, and Wei Li landed that right hand, put on the first round. Yeah. It was unbelievable to see, and she is continuing to do that in her performances since capturing the title. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice leg kick land. And there she goes using her jab effectively yet again. Her opponent's got to raise that guard or this fight could end soon. Well, she's going to have to do something. I think she needs to move her head off the center line because hands go up, the jab goes to the body, then the jab goes to the head. If you start worrying too much about her jab up top, she'll just start pounding that jab right through your midsection, which, which then will just empty the gas tank. Big kick lands. Right hand punch from the clinch. Beautiful head kick. Straight punch land. Hagner with the over. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? You cannot take too many of these big elbows from the clinch. Some nice back and forth action here. Big head kick land. Oh, she put everything into that one. Huge kick. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and she just continues to land that jab, keeping her opponent at distance. She's making this look like a video game. I mean, she's making it look like a video game. It's unreal to watch her pop that jab. It's like you're wanting a J-check before her. Fast moving, the jab always started everything. And tonight, this young lady is employing that same strategy. Oh! Oh! She did not miss there. This could be the NBC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. All right, so 43 total strikes have landed for Wei Li Zhang. Oh, beautiful jab. She has certainly found the range with that weapon, and I guess when you have a reach advantage like this, might as well use it. And she connects with a punch there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. She's been landing at a super high rate. She's in a great flow right now. Oh, nice jab. Oh, yeah. We approach the one minute mark in the first round. Let's get some points. Let's get that takedown going. Sean gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Man, her striking looks clean tonight. Timing on point. Her timing's on point. Her accuracy's on point. She's very busy. She's in a good flow. Trying to kick the leg out. 30 seconds to go. seconds left. Real quick leg kick. Oh, clipped her with the jab. She missed with that jab. Oh, and she connects there. Beautiful punch. Great punch, but what's next? What is she going to use to follow it up? The horn sounds for the end of round one. 好，那么第一回合战斗结束，第一回合结束的也是相当之快，可以看到第一回合当中，我们张伟丽选手也是猛打猛冲，先给对手来一个下马威啊，先压制住对手。那么在第一回合当中得分也是远远落落后于对手啊。我们可以看到张伟丽选手在第一回合当中呢，也表现啊，一直都是这个先压制啊，这也是张伟丽的一贯风格。好，那么让我们继续来期待一下下一回合双方选手的对决。You ready? You ready? Let's go, fight! Ooh, what a punch! So Esparza's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Beautiful kick.
Educated jab right there from Zhang Wei Li. This is a competitive division, but certainly looks like a fighter who could reign for some time. I mean, China's first UFC champion, and Wei Li is the person that you want to see carrying the flag for her country. She has everything. She's even learned to speak English. Now she understands the importance of drawing people in and capturing the imagination of the fight fans around the world. Nice punch there. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Beautiful body kick. Oh, I thought she was going to get tagged there. Instead, slips her head off the center line. Man, those boxing chops paying dividends for her tonight. I mean, the very last moment, she just makes a slight movement, and her opponent misses and finds herself in really bad position. Powerful leg kick lands. Well, she's landed some good shots, but kind of point fighting a little bit, right? Nothing in terms of combinations. And that's the problem. When you start point fighting and you're jabbing and it's landing, if your opponent's landing more dominant strikes, you run the risk of the judge scoring for them. Right. Get in there, stick your nose in the fight. Don't be afraid to get a little bit dirty. Dig and kick. And she misses with the left punch there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Well, we told you off the top, she's got the longer reach and certainly made good use of it in landing that straight punch there. Oh, effective strike there by Sean Whaley. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Zhang going for the head kick here, but no setup, and as such, she misses. Nice kick. What a tricky head kick. Oh, Superman punch! Oh, big punch land. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, kick to the head. That'll rearrange some, uh, some brain cells a little bit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's what she's feeling right now after getting kicked in the head. Can't take many of those, you better check. Well, she's got a good jab, miss with it there. Nice punch there by Esparza. That knee might have landed there. Once again, employing the knee. And those knees aren't just for effect, those are doing real damage. Oh, her knees are the business, man, and she is not just throwing one, right? We're talking about knees in bunches, and most of them have landed. You don't generally see that. You don't see somebody throw so many knees back to back, but there is no threat of a takedown. She's taking full advantage of every weapon she has at her disposal. Nice punch by Sean. the elbow there. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Wayley gets caught by that straight hand. Straight right is there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, how did she get that knee to the head? Well done. Right back. 好，那么第二回合战斗结束。哎呦，又是一回合非常凶猛的压制。张伟迪的这个拳法相当凶猛，就是要给你个小偷来个下马威。那么可以看到，第二回合当中，张伟迪又是连续不断的压制，把这个对手直接打出满脸都是血。好，那么也是第二回合战斗结束，让我们继续来期待一下下一回合双方选手的对决。照这种势头下去啊，在下回合
。我们来看一下赵文丽能不能在下回合取得什么进步。First phase of her plan is complete. Can she find the head kick to end the night? All right, DC, here we go. The next round is underway. She attacked the body to great effect in the previous round, and you got to think there's plenty more where that came from here. She does a great job of mixing in body kicks, body punches, and knees to get her opponent to make mistakes where she can find her kill shot up top. But don't think for a second that she is not comfortable just staying the course and finishing a fight with a body shot. Can you believe she is able to keep up this output just as she did in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes here and not slowing down whatsoever? She looks like she could go 10 hard fives if need be tonight. Beautiful strike. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Still standing. Straight right hand, but she misses. That's a big strike right there. Nice sneaky head kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Landed a big kick there. Oh, she landed a jab there. Is her jab better than yours or no? It's way better than <laughs> mine. She's so fast and she throws it with ill, ill intent. Oh, how good was that right hand? Beautiful connection by her there. Right down the pipe and right on the chin. Head kick. Effective punch there by Sean. Oh! 哎呦，这一个飞脚直接爆头漂亮。那么又是一个非常精彩的胜利。这个对手也是被绳之以法，当场就直接送进医院了啊！那么好的，感谢各位收看，这个外国选手非常无耻，张伟丽也是给他送回这个老家。好，那么感谢各位收看，我们下期再见。日本武士来中国嚣张跋扈，媒体会上还拔刀吓唬中国小伙，结果被当场回怼，上了擂台更是一记飞膝，当场干碎小日本的天灵盖。好的，观众朋友们，今天的暴打小日本啊，看的是非常的解气。我们眼前的中国选手就是人送外号“毒蛇”的冯天昊，那他不仅是打小日本子非常的在行 ，KO 率也是非常的高。十三场的连胜战绩，其中就有九场是 KO 对手获胜。那另一边的这个就是小日本子三木龙一，他是一个日本的武士啊，这次来还是特意带着他的武士刀给他壮胆赛前还把他拿出来吓唬我们的冯天昊，可惜他惹错了人呐、啊！冯天昊是最痛恨小日本子了。那这场比赛一定会非常精彩，各位观众千万不要错过。好的，那现在比赛已经正式开始。那这场比赛是咱们的中日对局，暴打小日本。那可以看到，现在台上红方选手红色短裤就是咱们的冯天昊，这边蓝方选手黑色短裤就是三木龙一。他看到两个选手上来之后就打得很猛啊，没有过多的试探，上来就是真刀真枪的对拼。那可以看到，现在冯天昊压得很紧啊，一步一步的逼着这个三木龙一。我可以看到他想去打地面战，但是发现没得逞，立马转身就逃跑啊。这个小日本子果然是非常的怂，两个人状态非常的好，一直比较自信。对，我可以看到这个小日本子再一次想要去进到地面啊，不过冯天昊根本就不理。那这个小日本子战力拼拳不行，我、哦、可以看到冯天昊现在非常的酷炫，非常的拽，想要让这个小日本子主动的进攻。这进攻嘛，十秒降服了蒙古国高手战旗革命部。对，然后在这场，哦哟，这个小日本子真的是坚持不懈啊，连续的几次尝试，但是都没有成功。可以看到冯天昊的这个臂展很长，全都是大开大合的打法，还是非常灵异的。目前他现在是九连胜的状态啊！那这个小日本子现在是被追得满场跑，看起来非常。